Peace, family. Peace, 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 peace. All right. So I hope you guys are having a phenomenal day. If not, do understand and get your day night. It's going to get better. Like I always say, once that perception, okay, perception is key, okay? Everything is about perception. So on this fine Sunday night, okay, I decided, I said, you know what? I haven't done a Facebook Live in a minute. So let me come and show my good Facebook family some love, okay? That's that's what I decided. That's what I said, okay? Um, so, yeah, this is just me popping up, okay, in the meantime, in between time, okay? Um, just showing my face around these streets, okay? <laughs> all right, okay? So, um, real quick, all right, um, I'm, I'm just going to leave you guys with this, all right? If you are eager... To have the answer to whatever it is that you may be faced with, whatever adversity that's showing up. I don't give a damn what type of adversity is showing up. I don't give a damn, okay? You have to understand to every end of the spectrum, in the words of Abraham Hicks, okay, there is always two sides. You remember growing up, you would hear this story. It's, it's two sides to the story. And they would say, um, and, and then later on they would say, well, actually, it's, it's, it's three sides, okay? It's your side, my side, and then it's the truth, <laughs> okay? All right? So what I'm saying is this. There is two sides to every end of the spectrum, okay? We have this thing called law of co correspondence, Okay? Um, duality, right? Everything that you are growing through, and I always like saying growing through, because you, in fact, you should be growing through whatever it is that your ass is going through, okay? Get the lesson so you could get the goddamn blessing, okay? Can I get an amen up in here? Honey, we have in church on a Sunday night, okay? Can I get a goddamn amen up in here? Now, you guys know I'm not religious. You do what works for you, okay? I'm spiritual. My whole thing to you is this. There is always an answer to your goddamn problem. You just got to be eager enough to find it. Okay? You have to be eager to find the answer. And I, you know, I'm going to just take you guys down the memory lane. Okay? Six and a half years. When I started doing these videos. Okay? The reason I started doing these videos, I told you guys I had a download for me to create content, okay, to get people out the matrix. I didn't know that the universe would have such a dope, uh, uh, such a dope sense of humor where as though it'd be like, well, you got to get out first, <laughs> okay, okay, all right? And the matrix to me is just belief systems, okay, is, is the illusions of what they say, um, is it Maya? Um, yeah, the illusion, the illusion, just illusions, okay? And I was so eager. See, when I first started, I was so eager, right? Like, almost like a kid in the candy store. You know, like, like say, for instance, you bring this kid to a candy school, store, okay? This kid probably don't eat a lot of sweets like my children, okay? They don't eat a lot of, you don't get them a lot of candy, Right? But when you bring them to this candy store, they like they eyes get wide. They so excited because they see all the different colors of the candy, the flavors and stuff like that. That's how I felt. I was I was so obsessed with getting the answers to how could I feel good? How could I feel even better? See, some of you guys, you think like, oh, well, once I get the money, once I get those materialized possessions, once I get that possession, I mean, once I get that position, once I become the CEO of this company or whatever it is, some of you guys actually believe that that is going to make you happy. But what's really, the reason that you're really doing it is for the feeling of how you would feel. So some people say, well, I can't wait to get that car. I can't wait to get that vehicle. Once I get that vehicle, I'm going to feel so happy. That's wrong. Because now you are putting that vehicle on a pedestal. You are putting these things on a pedestal. And basically what you're merely saying is this thing 
is is going to bring me happy. You putting this thing, like, giving this thing so much power when in all actuality, the power, it lies within you. Okay? And, and you've been sleeping on yourself. So I'm here to wake you up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. I'm here to wake you up. Okay? It's nothing wrong with wanting to have those materialized possessions. But the problem is when you feel as though those materialized possessions is going to outright do whatever it is. If you if you sad, depressed, or whatever, you like, oh, well, once I get that car, I'm going to be so excited and happy. Yeah, you may be happy when you get it, but then after a while, it will die down. Because it's never about the destination. It has never been about the destination. It is always about the journey. It is always about leading up to. It's not about, oh, once I get this. Because when you get there, you are going to be... It's like this, okay? This is a list that I had did earlier for, for my goals, okay? I was listening to... Um, earlier, Bob Proctor and I was listening to Earl Nightingale, The Stranger's Secret, okay, on YouTube. Every time we have a goal, right, every time we have a goal, we write our goals down and stuff like that, okay. This is something that I didn't, I didn't realize. When I tell you guys I used to be doing so much shopping, okay, hey, <laughs> hey, Al, PC, baby, PC, PC. This is something that I didn't realize, right? I would be so excited to get the shoes and the bags and everything like that, the perfume, the hair, okay, the weed, my hair did. And what I didn't realize was I was looking, I was seeking for validation, but not only seeking for validation, okay, I wasn't growing. And so spirit is always looking for ways to expand itself through you, okay? And if you're not growing, I always say this, is either you creating or you're disintegrating. There's no in between. It's either you're creating or you're dying. Okay. And so when I would get the materialized things and, you know, I like it. Okay. I like, you know, the shoes and the bags and the things like that. But what I started realizing was I was way more than that. I was way more than what I, what, how I was dressing. I was I was way more um than this persona, this 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 facade that I was putting up. I ain't know my power, honey, but I but I got to it. Okay. I started doing the work on myself and started realizing, honey, hold on now. You put yourself on goddamn self, girl. Okay, then I started doing the work on my damn self. So I never understood like why when I would get something, I would be so excited, okay? But then I would feel back the way I previously felt. And that was because in the first place, I wasn't excited. In the first place, I wasn't happy. I was looking for these things to give me validation. I was looking for these things to make me complete. I was looking for these things to, to add value to me. Okay? All these different things. Okay? But what I soon start discovering... Okay, and as I am a student of life, okay, yes, gratification to the to the utmost, okay, temporary gratification, yes, okay, and what I soon started discovering was they hold on, Dina, okay, you could do the work on yourself, and by you doing the work on yourself, it don't cost nothing, okay, absolutely free. It's so funny, I was listening to Earl Nightingale earlier, one of the things he said, the things that are free, that came to us free, those are the things that we take for granted. Like our mind, we take it for granted. Like, you know, having dreams and stuff like that, you know, and I, and I did listen to, um, uh, what is his name, um, who say, you know, in order, you know, they talk about the American dream, but in order for you to be part of the American dream, you gotta be sleeping. Um, Carson, I, I can't think of his, his first name, but anywho, um, so once I start doing the work on myself, okay, and I'm still doing the work, this is an ongoing thing, okay, this is called, um, self-mastery, okay, you need to, yeah, Billy Carson, um, you need to, you know, do self-mastering, okay, on your damn self. What I started realizing was, I was so obsessed. I always been fascinated with finding answers. Okay, I'm a I'm a solution type of gal. 
I don't, I don't, I will not argue with you for your goddamn limitations, for your lack. I will not go back and forth with you. Okay. If that's what you are looking for, if you are a, a problem, like a, a looking, seeking problems, okay, because you, you have to remember, okay, everything that you seek, you shall find. So if you a person, a, a problem, a, a problem oriented person is always looking for problems, okay, always looking for things not to work for you. Guess what? That that's gonna show up. Why? Because that's what you give your attention to. That's what you give your focus to. And so for me, I'm just like I always been that type. Okay. Like even when I was into religion, okay, I was I was looking for the answers so much. That honey, I stopped, I, I start looking outside myself, okay, for the goddamn answers. And then what I, and I'm so grateful for my journey with religion, okay, and, and like I said, I would never tell anybody, you know, you are part of religion, don't do it, because you got to do what works for you. If that religion is working for you, then you do it, okay? But if you see it's not working for you, it, that goes with anything in life, even that goddamn relationship, okay? If that relationship is not working for you, honey, you have to get out of it. You cannot make somebody become something that they clearly feel as though that they're not. Okay. And, and, and by you staying there and saying, well, I'm going to give them enough love. Honey, you cannot give them enough love. What you are doing, you are depleting your goddamn self. While you are trying to give this person more love and this person don't even think that they deserve love, you let me know. In, in my inbox, had it's working for you, okay? So, um, getting back to it. So, I was so obsessed, okay? And I remember my mama told me, she said, Dina, you is really obsessed <laughs> with doing these videos. I was so obsessed. The reason being was because I knew that there was a solution to any problem that's out there. To any problem, there is a solution to it. Okay, except for die. Okay, all right. Well, death, we really don't die, okay? Energy just transforms. But there is always a solution, okay? And I was, I was, I remember this day, like, you know, like nobody business. Yes, looking at for the outside. And, and, and honey, there's, you got to go within. You got to, you don't need my videos. You don't need nobody, the, the guy down the block videos, okay? You don't need... You know, that church, that, that preacher, okay? You don't need that, 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 um, spirit, spiritual guru or whatever you call, you guys call it. Honey, you need to take some time out, okay? Meditate. And I guarantee you the goddamn answers will start coming to you. If you are truly seeking it. Now, one thing that the universe will do or source or whatever it is you want to call it, it will point you in a direction, okay? Like for instance, I can say, you know what, I, I, I just need, I just need the answers. Okay. And source may say, well, go get, go get this book. Or somebody may say, somebody that's, you know, I listen to a lot of people that are successful because I know success leaves clues. And if I want to be successful, honey, I'm going to go where the people are successful. I'm not listening to no average Joe. I'm not going to listen to somebody that's broke. I'm sorry. I'm not listening to no brokies. Like Aaron Tate says, okay, not listen to the brokies, okay, because if I, if I want to be broken, broke is really a mindset, okay, you not having, I mean, poor is a mindset, okay, um, broke is just temporarily, but honey, I ain't listening to no goddamn brokies, okay, and so when I listen to successful people, the first thing that I do when I listen to successful people, you know what I do? I immediately write down the book they say immediately why why some of you guys may say why why do that the reason being is because i know if this successful person telling me the books that they done read and i know that success leaves clues then i am going to write that book i'm going to write that book down and then i'm i am going to take action and purchase that book okay because success leaves clues you have to meet the universe halfway See, you you the type of person that's sitting back, tw tweedling your dumbs, sitting on your fingers, and you just think that it's just going to fall in, in your lap. You have to take action. In the words of Kevin Tredon, one of the things he says is, he says, success is a decision away. 
Success is a decision away. And if you want different, honey, guess what? You're going to have to show up and do different. You cannot keep doing the same exact thing and hoping and praying and locking and crying, okay? Because, honey, I've been here crying that something different is going to come into your life because nothing different is coming, okay? It's not coming until you do something different. You have to do something different. Is it Nothing is coming, okay? So, um, so I started doing things differently, okay? And what I started realizing, oh, shit, it really works, <laughs> okay? It really works, okay? All right? Start doing things differently. And that's what the that's how the universe is. So, for instance, your intuition, we all have an intuition, okay? And our intuition is so powerful. And all successful people mainly listen to their intuitions. The ones that I've been listening to, um, Tracy Bryan, okay? All of them, um, 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 Kevin Trudone, okay, Bob Proctor, all of them listen to their intuition. All of them listen to their intuition. Les Brown, listen to their intuition. The reason being is because ultimately you are listening to yourself. Yeah, we could take advice and opinions and everything from other people, but ultimately it's about you listening to your goddamn self, okay? And your intuition is not your mama, okay? Let, let me say that again. Your intuition is not your mama, it's not your daddy, okay? You may feel like, oh, well, these people don't let me down, and why would I listen to them? Well, you're going to listen to your intuition because it'll never let you down. It's never going to let you down. But you have to be able to, you have to be able to know when your intuition is speaking, okay? I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share this story with you guys about taking a leap out on faith. Okay, a few years ago, okay, I was um, meditating. I've been, um, you know, reading books on um, herbal remedies, um, you know, just to name a few, you know, a few people who wrote books, um, uh, like Lily Africa, Dr. Lily Africa. Um, hey, Rashawn, peace to your baby, peace to your, peace to your, peace to your. Hey, Jonathan, peace to your, peace to your. Hey, beloved, peace to your baby, peace to your, peace to your. Uh, um, you know, just to name a few. Okay, I can't go down the whole line. Um, Dick Gregory. And I, I was, you know, reading, see, everything, your life is about growth. Your life is about evolution. Okay. It's all about growth. It's all about evolution. It's about how you can become better than what you were yesterday. It is not about you competing. Honey, when you compete, you lose. Okay, let me just say that, okay? You out here competing, trying to compete with people, you're losing, okay? Because it's not about you competing. And the only person you should be competing with is your goddamn self. It's about creativity, okay? So as long as you out there competing, saying, oh, well, I gotta compete. You know, this person got the sell same thing. That they sell the same exact thing I sell. You know, I gotta compete. Honey, the moment you start focusing so much on them and how they selling and how much money they bringing in and all this other stuff, honey, you're losing. You're losing, okay? A good book I recommend, Prosperity Bible. Honey, this, this has everybody in it, okay? It, it has um, Napoleon Hill, okay, Wallace Wilders, Benjamin Franklin, okay, um, James Allen, okay, it has so many great reads in here. Right now, I am reading um, The Science of Getting Rich by um, Wallace Wilders. So good. Such a phenomenal read. Oh, my goodness. It's so good. My energy and everything, honey, it be going up. It be going up, honey. Okay, I, I be in here think, honey, be do half. Okay, I can be, do, have, whatever it is. And that's another tip I want to give you guys. What's going to change your perception? Because we all know it's a mind game. What's going to change your perception is you, you start reading. I used to be a person that said, I don't read. Okay, until I started realizing, okay, if I want to be successful, the successful people reading, they buying books. Honey, let me get some books. Okay, all right. And I'm always reading. I'm always looking for a great book, especially when it's pertaining to the subconscious mind. Especially when it's pertaining to growth. I am always looking for a book. Honey, I, cause I know the answer is out there. I know the answer is out there. It's just a matter of time before I find it. But I know the goddamn answer is out there. So, getting back to the story. Um, I was, I remember this one particular day. Um, 
I was meditating and I got a download for me to do a book, to write a book. And I said, what? Write a book? Now, I done said that I'm going to write two books after this this book that I, I just did. But I said, I'm going to do two books after this. And I am going to do it. I am. Okay. Um, But I had got a download for me to write a book. So immediately, all the doubt started coming in. You're not smart enough. Um, What makes you think that you could do it? All these things start coming up. And so after my meditation, right, I had went, because this is always how I know that the universe is speaking to me. What I do is I look things, I look things up or something uh, happened. Like, for instance, like the other day I meditated, right? Um, the other day I meditated, right? And I was like, when is this check coming? And my intuition said the six. And I be damned, I went downstairs yesterday and the check was right in a box, in a mailbox. Okay. So this is the ways that I know that the universe is, is speaking to me. This is the ways that I'm getting clarity. This is the ways that I'm, I, I know the synchronicities are synchronicity. Okay. If that's the word. Okay. I know the synchronicities are, you know, the universe is speaking to me loud and clear. So I was in the living room, okay, and I was meditating. And after my meditation session, I had got a download for the name of the book called You Stop. So I said, You Stop? I said, I don't know, you know. But then you start thinking, you like, I know nobody else ain't say nothing about You Stop. I know nobody else is here with me. So it had to be my intuition talking to me. So I went online, right, on Google, and I'm like, I don't even know what juiced up means, right? And so I'm looking it up, and it says something about spiritual. So I said, what the fuck, right? Oh, my goodness, right? So I remember what Lisa Nichols said. Lisa Nichols said that, um, and some of you guys know Lisa Nichols. Okay, if you don't know who Lisa Nichols out, honey, you're missing out. Okay, Lisa Nichols is a phenomenal transformational coach. I had went to go see her a few years back. Okay, such an impeccable speaker. Okay, I'm talking about someone who went to to college and went to speaking. She she would do um give speaking and get she would do a speaking thing. The teacher would tell her to do speaking. The professor and and then told her she should never ever speak again in her life. Okay. All right. And honey, she is a, an impeccable speaker. You talking about a storyteller like no other. Okay. She is phenomenal. But I remember what she said. Okay. That she wasn't a, a great um, writer. But she said, is a such thing is called a publisher. Hello. Okay. Honey, I don't know if you listening to me loud and clear tonight. But honey, I'm dropping some juice on you. Okay. So she said she is a publisher. She could get a publisher. So that, that went off in my mind, right? And I said, okay, I could get somebody from Fiverr. Okay, Fiverr, F-I-V-E-R-R, whatever, right? And so what I did was I went on, I went on Fiverr. I always allow my intuition to guide me on which person to point out or whatever. So I went on Fiverr and I found this amazing lady, okay? So I wrote down all my ideas, okay? I even put Dr. Sabi's, um, Dr. Sabi's nutritional guide in there because I done did research and, you know, I, I, had, I used to have Dr. Sabi nutritional guide up in my kitchen and everything like that, right? And so um, I connected with the lady and I'm like, um, oh, yeah, you know, this is exactly how I want the book to look, whatever. I want the chakras to be in there because our chakras are connected to the food that the food that we eat is connected to our chakras. OK, so if you're a person that deals with a bunch of anxiety, experience a lot of anxiety 
that would be orange, okay? Um, your, your, your sacral chakra, okay? You gotta be eating things that's orange. And I mean like healthy stuff, like, you know, cantaloupe, oranges, squash, butternut squash, and things of that nature, okay? You going through things with your throat, okay? You feel like you can't speak, your throat chakra is blue, okay? So you're gonna be eating some blueberries, okay? Things that are blue, even wearing some clothes that's blue, okay? Cause all those things are interconnected with our chakra. So I had a whole list and this just came from the books that I, I read. Okay. So I told the lady, I'm like, I want my book to be like this. I want the chakras in there. I want the juice guy and you know, everything like that, whatever. And, um, the lady, she, she created the book exactly the way I wanted it to be. But let me tell you something. Did I experience fear? Absolutely. Did I experience doubt? Absolutely. Was there voices that were saying I couldn't do it? Absolutely. Was there voices saying that what makes me think that I'm, I'm, I'm good enough to write a book? Absolutely. But guess what? I still took the leap, the, the leap out on faith. And so I wanted, I wanted to do this video because I want you to know that everything that you have, everything that you ever would need, okay, um, you could purchase it on Amazon. It's, it's called Juiced Up. I appreciate you, Al. Um, yeah, so um yeah, every every thing that I have done, it was fear always presented itself. When I opened up uh when I opened up an active wear line, okay, like workout gear and stuff like that, okay, but I stopped doing it because I was like, uh, I'm not as passionate as I am. Um, we're doing something like me making these videos this is my passion. I love it. I absolutely love it. Okay. Um, but yeah, but when I, when I decide and everything that I did, okay, it was every part, it was like the puzzle pieces being connected. Okay. It was like every, everything that I was doing, but behind, behind closed doors, like when I'm working out, okay, then I created a workout line. Okay. But I was afraid to do that too. Okay. I was afraid to do, I was even afraid to go to the, the bank to open up a business account because I didn't know. See, this is the, this is the issue. Okay. This, this is, this is what you have to realize. You don't have enough reps in. Okay. In a, in a words of Aaron Dowdy. Okay. You don't have enough reps in. Okay. It's, it's the same as that concept. Like when you go to the gym, right? And you may be all happy, like, oh yeah, well today I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift 200 pounds or whatever. But honey, if you can't even lift a hundred, okay, you gotta start with the basics. So the reason why fear is showing up is because it's not there to stop you. It is there to let you know you are growing. And it is also there to let you know that you don't have enough reps in. But the more reps you put in and the more you challenge yourself and the more you face yourself, guess what? Everything is going to align. Okay? Well, Al, tell me when, when those hoodies come. Let me know. Um, so whenever you start putting the reps in, okay, that fear is going to dissipate. But it's never going to leave. Okay? And I know we've been programmed. Okay? You know, our parents would say, it's nothing to be afraid of. But that fear, it, you know, you got the fear from somewhere. The book that I have read by, and this is like one of my favorite reads, um, The Power of the Subconscious Mind by, um, uh, oh gosh, I can't even think of the guy's name, um, by Dr. Joseph Murphy, Okay. Um, my size is a medium and the color is green. Honey, green is my favorite color. Okay. And, and you know what green is associated with? Okay. Green is associated with your heart. Okay. Green is your heart chakra. Okay. All right. Um, so what I, what I would say, oh, joke by Dr. Joseph Murphy. Where was I going with this? Oh, in the book. The power of the sub, subconscious mind. One of the things Dr. Joseph Murphy says, he says, okay, all right, let me find out. 
Okay, honey, we twins. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let me find out. Um, Dr. Joseph Murphy said that the only thing, um, a medium, that the only thing, I appreciate you, L. Okay, I appreciate you. Um, that the only thing is only two fears that are natural. Okay. And one of them is loud noises. And I forgot the other one. But everything else is... Oh, September is mine, honey. Virgo Virgo coming through, okay? The, the Virgo is coming through, okay? Um, so Dr. Joseph Murphy said it's two things that are natural fears. And one of them is loud noises. And I forgot the, the second one, okay? But I know it's not nothing like heights or anything like that. Um, I can't think of the second one. But anything else, that fear, it has been placed upon you. Due to what you done heard Jeff, Jeff Hammer say. Like my mother, she used to talk about heights a lot. Right? And I, I said, you know what? That's my mother fear. And I don't want to live my life, you know, like my mother. I love my mother to the life of me. But I don't want things to stop me. Because it's somebody else's fear. Okay? And so what I started doing was I started walking a bridge. Okay? And, and, and I was terrified. But I did it. I showed up. Okay, so much so that I started working out up on the bridge. Okay, and I'm talking about the bridge in Bayonne to Staten Island. Okay, start working out on the bridge. Okay, then, okay, I, I took a helicopter. Okay, because I wanted to, I didn't want my life to be limited based upon somebody else's perception. Okay. And whenever I'm doing something, and this is something that you have to understand, and you got to get. <laughs> oh, I appreciate you, L. Um, this is something that you have to get, and you have to understand is this. All successful people, they are afraid, okay? They are afraid. But like the book, Napoleon Hill, Think and Grow Rich. And you got to ask yourself, okay? The elite, no, is about mind. It's about your mind. It's not about you working so hard. Because if that was the case, I'm quite sure Napoleon Hill would have named the book Hustle, Hustle and Bustle and Grow Rich. But honey, he named the book Think. Think and Grow Rich. Think and Grow Rich. Not work so hard until you die. Not have 10 and 20 jobs. He did not say that. He said, think and grow rich. Because you know why? Because it's about your mindset. It's about your transmitters. It's about what you send it out into the ether run. It's about you knowing and having faith and believing everything is going to work out for me. Everything is going to work out. And that's why I read the books. That's why I read the books. That's why I read the books. And that is exactly why whenever I find something out, I'm only, I'm only speaking to the people that are change that there are change agents okay the ones that's like you know what i i have the i'm not speaking to no goddamn um no victims i'm sorry victim this video ain't for you if you blaming your ex for why your life ain't working you blaming your mom and your daddy the government the white man and all this other stuff for why it's not working honey i am here to tell you this video ain't for you okay because as long as you are blaming and naming and gaming and saying the government, the cops and all this other shit, honey, you are giving them your power. Okay? You are giving them your power. As long as you tune into this stuff, guess what? It's going to keep on showing up. That's why I don't watch no news. I don't want to hear how things ain't working for you. It's either we going to come up with a plan, but if you don't, if, if, if you so invested on how life is not working, and if you so invested on you wanting the attention from you saying your life ain't working, I gotta hang up. I gotta, I can't, I can't be on the phone with you. Mm -mm. I can't be on the phone with you. You know, I, you know, I had some, uh, this phenomenal, phenomenal queen, so beautiful, you know, just absolutely beautiful, okay? And we did a book, we would do a book thing together. But every time I turned around, okay, she would be saying stuff was going on in, in her life, right? 
And listen, the first few times, okay, okay, because we all experience things. But when you keep on saying every week something is going on with your life and you keep on saying how things not working for you, that's what's going to keep on happening in your life. Okay? That's what you gotta get to the point where so you like, I know this shit is going through going on in my life, okay? But I'm not staying here. I know things is gonna work itself out. And she was such a phenomenal person, so phenomenal. I mean, really, really phenomenal. Okay, I was going through something with my son one time and I asked her for her advice because she she's a um a psychic, okay? And I asked her, you know, stuff and 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 just that one time I told her because she asked me, she said, Dina, because I went and did a, a podcast. I was on her podcast, and she said, Dina, you know, something seemed off with you, okay? And I wasn't gonna tell her, you know, because I don't have to go and tell everybody what's going on. Now, I used to, you know, just download. Okay, do a dump. Okay. But nowadays, I, because what I started realizing was, Dina, if you keep talking about those problems, why are you going to keep, they're going to keep on showing up. Okay. And then not only that, honey, they ain't going, the people you telling your problems about, honey, they ain't, they not going through that. And so what I started doing was, honey, I started taking, I started taking illusionary problems to meditation. Okay. Okay. Started, start meditating on it. And, and then before you know it, I get an answer. Okay. So I'm, I'm going to tell you guys three things, four things that I do. Okay. Four things that I do to transform my life. Okay. One, I get the books. I read. Okay. I read. The second thing, I listen to audio all day, every day. I listen to the audio. Um, I barely watch television. Okay. You know, some, some of you guys be in my inbox. I mean, I don't, I don't think, listen. Okay. Cause, cause it would never work. <laughs> it would never work. Because if you're not a reader, okay, I don't want you. That, that's just, that's just facts that'll crack your back. Okay. And that's, that's just the truth. Okay. If you don't read, I don't want you because that lets me know because readers are leaders. Okay. And not all leaders in the words of Jew. Okay. <laughs> Jew. And not all readers or are leaders. Okay. But honey, I'm a leader. Okay. And so if you're not reading, I don't want you. I don't. So, so we could cut, we could cut the chase right now. Don't go in the inbox if you if you're not a reader. Don't 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 even just when you see my inbox, just just pass it, okay? Because I'm not the type of I'm not the type of chick for you. Because I read, okay? I never thought I would be, you know, growth, okay? All right. Then if you're a person that's always talking about how your life ain't working, I don't want no parts of that. No parts. If you're a person that's always saying, yo, ex did this, yo, ex did that, okay, don't want no parts of that neither, okay? So, I read, I listen to inspirational stuff, okay, on the daily. This is like embedded in me, okay? Then, I listen to my intuition. I listen to my intuition. So, this is how your life is going to start transforming, okay? I don't, I, I hang with people that are like-minded, okay? like-minded if if you victim is no place for you over here okay no place just, just no place okay all right so these are the things that i do okay and i meditate okay and i started doing this tapping technique <laughs> okay tapping okay tapping some and and, it, and this is the funny thing because i know some people they be like Oh, well, nobody want to do no tapping or nobody want to do meditation and all this other stuff. But the shit that you doing ain't working any goddamn way. What you, you prefer to look normal. And what the hell is normal? Okay, you prefer to look normal as opposed to doing something that some may say, oh, that looks silly. That looks stupid. Okay. You prefer to do, you prefer to do, and hell's, no, hell's normal working for you. I, you know, just a question. How's normal working for you? So if I could recommend two books, okay, well, let's just say one book. 
Oh, you had a class on tap, honey. Tapping is is tapping is where it's at. Okay, tapping is phenomenal. Okay, you got some resistance going on with you. You experiencing some anxiety or some depression. Okay, and I say experiencing. Okay, because I don't like those names. You putting not names on you. You saying, oh, you depressed. Oh, you. Oh, I don't like those names. Don't don't put me in no box. You ain't gonna put me in no box. And then and whenever you give yourself a name, honey, you could be sold. One second, family. Look at this. <clears throat> so don't put me don't put don't put me on no box. Okay, no box. Honey, we, we too damn big for a box. We too goddamn powerful for a goddamn box. Don't put me in no goddamn box. Okay. So those are, if, if I could recommend one book, okay, because I would say other books, but I would just go with this one, The Prosperity Bible. Okay, The Prosperity Bible. Now, normally I would say, I would say, um, Dr. Jo Dr. Joseph Murphy book, okay. The Power of the Subconscious Mind. Um, or I would say um, Vernon Howard book, um, The Cosmic Path. Is it The Cosmic Path to... But I'll just say this one, okay? Because this, this, this has so many great reads in this one book, okay? They... This book, it'll, it'll last you, okay? This book, it'll, it'll help you start looking at your life in a different limelight, okay? When people say certain things about you, the best way to pay them back, okay, right? Or to, to get revenge, you know, if you want to be revengeful or whatever it is like that, you know, the best way is for you to better who you are. That's the best way. That is the best way. You know, just imagine it. Just imagine this. Okay, take, take, just take a walk with me. Okay. I love doing visuals. Okay. But just say yo, you had some teachers. Okay. Who wasn't so passionate about their goddamn job. Okay. And they told you how you was going to be a loser. Or, or say for instance, you know, say for instance, you had a, a probation officer. Okay. And this probation officer told you how you would keep on being in the system, okay, when you was a kid. And you done became so goddamn successful. I Actually, I had a visual of this the other day. I was like, you know, I just imagined myself, like, imagine me in my Red Range Rover, okay, and I see a lady on a bus stop, okay. And the lady, I blow the horn and I'm, I need directions, okay? Because I don't moved out of New Jersey, okay? I, I live in Texas now. But, you know, I just came to New Jersey before I said Atlanta. But, honey, I think Texas is where it's at, okay? I think I'm going to Texas. So, then I see, you know, this lady. But I, I also, I am going to have a house in Montclair, okay? I am going to buy a house in Montclair, I'm going to live in Texas, but I'm going to have a property in Montclair, okay? I'm speaking it, I'm speaking because that's what it is, okay? So I, I blow the horn, and I see this lady, and I'm like, oh, you know, um, hey, could you tell me where such and such is? And it's a probation officer. And then she's like, I know you from somewhere. And I'm like, oh, yeah, I know you, Okay. And then she's like, oh my goodness. And, you know, we having a, a walk down memory lane, okay? And I'm just telling her. And she's like, oh my goodness, I seen you on TV. I seen you here. I seen you there. Honey, I seen you everywhere, okay? That is the best way to get the revenge, okay? And, you know, I'm not a vindictive person, okay? Because, you know what? You have to understand 
Your actions are speaking, your actions speak louder than words. Now, we all have heard that. We have all heard, um, you know, the elders say, actions speak louder than words, baby. Because actions do speak louder than words, okay? You ain't got to be trying to pay people back, okay? Uh-uh. You do the work on you. You won't even, honey, they will be so far in the rearview mirror, it won't even be funny, okay? And you know what they say? You know what, you want to know what they say when, when you become so successful, okay? And success is you doing a worthy idea that you, that you like, okay? It's not, you know, if you ask some people, well, why do you, why are you a bus driver? Oh, because I got to pay bills. That's not success. I'm sorry, but that's not success, honey. Success is you doing what you enjoy doing, okay? Now, you could do the bus driver thing or whatever it is that you, you have to do, but make sure you don't forget about your purpose, okay? Make sure you don't forget about your goddamn purpose and your goddamn passion, okay? All right? You making other people rich, okay? You making other people rich while you staying where you are. Had that, had that words, okay? Because I, I knew... You know, even when I was doing Uber, I said, shit, I don't want to do no damn Uber. I want to, I want to live, I'm going to live like the goddamn CEOs. Okay. I remember I told my sister that. I said, I don't want to do no Uber. And Uber, I, you know, I enjoyed it. Okay. Cause the people that would come in my car, honey, I had some phenomenal people in my car. Okay. Honey, we, it was like we had therapy session. Okay. Uber therapy session. Okay. When the people would come in my car. So I enjoyed that part. But I didn't enjoy the part of, oh, I got to, it, 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 it comes a point in time in your life where is the, yes, a paycheck or two to keep you away from your dream. That's right. Absolutely. Absolutely. Okay. And you guys know I had started getting into consumer law, right? And it's so funny how the universe have like be putting things together in perspective, right? It's like, all right, this is your last puzzle piece, you know, solve this, okay? And um, and consumer law, it has a lot to do with spirituality, a whole lot to do with spirituality, a lot to do with spirituality, okay? But if I can say anything, it's all about your mindset, all about your mindset. Okay, honey, you, you, let me tell you something. Okay, let me tell you something. Man, when you change that mindset, man, you are, oh, honey, you, you tell the people to watch out now. Cause when you, when you change that mindset, okay. <laughs> oh, you in Chicago, Jonathan. Okay. Okay. I know it's freezing over there. When you change your mindset, man, when you change your mindset, honey, you can, I'm, I'm going to read you guys just a short, you know, and then I got to go. Okay. Cause I've been on here for a minute. Okay. This, this wasn't intentional. Okay. I, I said I was going to be on here. So right now I told you guys I am reading, um, and I got to read tonight. Okay. Um, I am reading. The Science of Getting Rich by Wallace Wattlers, okay? By Wallace Wattlers, such a phenomenal read. I mean, hands down, it's, it's just it's just an impeccable read. I mean, it's so phenomenal. It's so good. You know, it, it puts you in that mindset like... It, it puts... It puts you in a mindset like, honey, you, you trying to be part of other people's table, honey. You building your own goddamn table. It puts you in that mindset, okay? It gives you that type of perspective, okay? All right? It gets you, it just does something different to the mind, all right? If I, if I may say so myself, okay? So this is something that I read daily, every night, like before I go to bed. I read this every night, um, before I go to bed in the first thing in the morning. I read this, okay? And this is just pretty much... So I'm going to read this and then I'm going to read you guys the other thing and then I got to get off here. Okay, so... May each reader be now freed from that thing which has held him in bondage through the ages, standing between him and his own, and know the truth which makes him free. Free to fulfill his destiny, to bring into manifestation the divine design of his life. Health, wealth, love, and perfect self-expression. 
Be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. Okay. Denials and affirmations. God is my unfailing supply and large sums of money come to me quickly under grace and perfect ways. For right, for right conditions. Every plan my father in heaven has not planned shall be dissolved and dissipated and the divine ideal now comes to pass. For right conditions, only that which is true of God is true of me, for I and the Father are one, okay? Um, for faith, as I am one with God, I am one with my good, for God is both the giver and the gift. I cannot separate the giver from, from the gift. For right conditions, divine love now dissolves and dissipates every wrong condition in my mind, body, and affairs. Divine love is the most powerful chemical. Okay, honey, come with it. Most powerful chemical. Okay. In the universe and dissolves everything which is not of itself. Okay. For health. Divine love floods my consciousness with health and every cell in my body is filled with life. Okay, honey, I, I don't know about you, but it just does something to me when I read this. Okay. For eyesight, okay, for your eyes, okay, my eyes are God's eyes. I see with the eyes of spirit. I see clearly the open way. There are no obstacles, okay, to the ones out there, okay, you, you feeling victim, you get this book, okay, because that victim gonna go out the window. Well, if you read the book, okay, okay, all right. Um, I, my eyes are God, God's eyes. I see with the eyes of spirit. I see clearly the open way. There are no obstacles on my pathway. I see clearly the perfect plan. Okay. For guidance. Honey, you looking for guidance? Okay. Look no further. Okay. I am divinely sensitive to my intuition. Didn't I say about the intuition? Okay. You tripping. Okay. You looking for all the answers outside you. Your intuition is going to guide you and it's going to tell you what you should do. And it is going to tell you what you should do. Okay. It may even pray and say, go get that book. Okay. Go do this. Go do that. Go to a different store. Go to a, neighbor, a, a new neighborhood today. I'm, you always going to, to this same because your spirit is always looking for expansion. It's, it's looking for ways to express itself. But if you know, if you want, that's why if you run, you want to run quicker. If you jump, you want to jump higher because spirit is always looking for ways of free expansion and you keep holding it back. You keep holding it back. Why? Because you got damn ego. Okay. Because somebody told you once upon a time that you, you was, you was in shit. Okay. Honey, you got to let, you got to let the dead bury the dead. You got to let bygones be goddamn bygones. Stop holding on to that shit. It ain't doing nothing for you. Okay? It ain't doing nothing for you, but keeping you exactly where your ass is today. And let me tell you something. For all the ones that say New Year's resolutions, okay, which this is really not the New Year's, but that's, that's you know, that's something for another day, okay? You up here saying New Year's resolutions and setting up all these New Year's resolutions because everybody else is doing it because you're a copycat. And then... Not only that, honey, you gonna stick to that shit for what, three weeks? And then you gonna be right back to where you was previously. Okay? You gonna be, you gonna be right back to where you was previously. You have to take baby, start taking baby steps. Okay? Start to, the, I, I want, the ones that's out there that really want to change your life, they lives, okay, just want to feel better, just want to move the, 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 the notch up, okay. This is for the ones that just want to feel better, okay. I, I challenge you. If it's tonight or tomorrow, for the whole day, I challenge you to listen to nothing but positivity. Nothing but personal development. I'll give you a few names, okay? You can listen to Zig Ziglar, okay? Zig Ziglar, okay? You can listen to Les Brown. You can listen to Lisa Nichols. You can listen to, um, you can listen to Jim Rohn, okay? You can listen to Bob Proctor, all right? Just, 
you can listen to Earl Nightingale. Okay, just just to name a few. You can listen to E.T., God damn it. Okay, Eric Thomas. Okay. I challenge you. Now, if you, now, if you really, because, you know, you always have these, you always have a set of people. You have the people that say they life ain't working, but they ain't ready to do shit because they like the attention. Okay. And that's, that, you know, that's fine with me. Okay. But you ain't going to get the attention from me because what you talk about it one time. Okay. All right. Then the second time. Now, if we going into the third time, honey, deuces to you, because I, I, I don't have time for that. Because then that shit gonna start going into my goddamn subconscious mind. And honey, we don't want that. Okay? So to, to the person that's out there. Now, I done gave you a few names. You can even listen to Kevin Tredone. He was part of the goddamn brotherhood. Okay? You can listen, you can listen to him. How he had tell you he was a part. He was, you know, a dirty, a 33, uh, Mason, whatever. How he got out of the brotherhood. He had tell you, you know, certain things for you to do. You could even listen to, um, um, Abraham Hicks, okay? Abraham Hicks. I love me some Abe, okay? You can listen to some, some Esther Hicks, some Esther and Jerry Hicks, because they, because the book, um, um, as and it shall be given, it is from my understanding, okay? Um, it's from Napoleon's Hill book, um, the 16th, the 16 laws of success or something like that that never got published or it was pulled off the market or whatever it was like that um but that's where s and it is given because they got in there you know if you stay if you stay at a high vibration i believe is for i don't know if it's 68 or 58 seconds or 17 seconds okay that will that will echo okay it's like a domino effect Okay, and we all, no, it wasn't 21 laws of success. I don't think, I think it was 16 laws of success or something like that. But I know they pulled it off because because um, Kevin Tredone said it. He said they pulled they pulled it off because they didn't want the secret to come out or something like that. Um, so anywho, so getting back to it. So if you listen, if, if you really want to change your life, if you want your life to look different this year, okay, as a, as opposed of, um, as opposed of, if you want your life to look different this year, as opposed of the way it was looking last year, you got to do something different. I will be the first to damn tell you. If you ain't doing different, you ain't getting different. The universe don't give a fuck about you crying, about them tears, Okay. It don't care about, and I, I, I don't like to say it this way, but sometimes people need to hear it exactly for what it is. It don't give a fuck about your tears. It don't care about you getting on your knees praying. It don't give a damn about you going to that goddamn church every Sunday or whatever it is. If you're not doing nothing different, you shall not receive nothing different. And that's just the bottom line. That is just point blank period. Okay, that's just what it is. Okay, I'm not here to sugarcoat it because, honey, it ain't going to do nothing for you. If you want your life to change, honey, you got to do something different. And when you around people that's telling you, why are you listening to that shit? Nobody want to hear that, honey. That is your chance because you've been wanting to get rid of their asses. You've been wanting to cut them off. But that, this going to be a, a perfect chance for you to cut them off. It's, it's, see, it's not about you saying... Or, or your homies or whoever it is, okay? Because, you know, people talk, they talk all this stuff. Oh, well, they, they tough and all this other stuff. I mean, you want to know what, what is tough to me? You self-mastering your goddamn self. That's what's tough to me. If you can't, if, if you can't master yourself, if you ain't got no goddamn discipline, honey, honey, I don't know what you talking, okay? So if you start doing these things, it, it will trend, it will start making you understand that there's another way okay it will inspire you so much because let me tell you something repetition is the mother father sister brother uncle aunt of learning and the way that you have been programmed is through repetition okay through repetition you saying your abc's one two threes and all this other stuff honey is through repetition so now you gotta you gotta reprogram your mind and that is the only way to reprogram your mind you know you could get hypnotized okay or you could start putting in a new tape 
And that's what I started doing. I started reading. I started picking up the books. And actually opening the books. And actually reading the books. Okay? And, th and then dissecting the books. And then writing stuff down. Okay? Start listening to audios. Okay? All day. Practically all got the end day. Okay? Because I knew if I want something different, I have to do something different. It's not about, you know, somebody saying, oh, damn, you listening to that again? And, and my answer, and my answer is, and I am, why aren't you? <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm listening to this again. Why, why are you not? That, that should be the answer. Why are you not listening to it? Why are you not listening? To, you don't know who this is. Okay. Why are you not listening to it? All right. Okay. Oh, and the affirmations is, is good. Okay. I remember when I first started getting in a damn mirror, saying affirmations. Bob Proctor was the first. Get in a mirror and tell yourself X, Y, and Z. And honey, I would get in that mirror the first day, the first week. Few weeks. It felt very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable. Because what I was saying, honey, I did not believe it. Okay. I, I, I love Dina. Okay. I love me. Um, I am confident. But one thing that I started realizing the shit works. Okay. Cause honey, I was in Atlanta. Okay. In the mall walking around. Honey, honey, you couldn't tell me that honey, I don't own this more. Okay. No matter how much the bank account was showing for. Okay. I was up in the mall like, honey, I am a millionaire, a multi-millionaire. Now what you talking about? <laughs> All right. Okay. That's how confident you have to be within yourself. One of the things that I love that Kevin Trudon said, he said he had a mentor who had told him um, something about like, you know, you got to walk up in a place like you own it. And Kevin Trudon said, well, that's easy for you to say because you, you are a multimillionaire. And he said, the money, he said something like the money don't get you there. He said, the confidence, something like this, like I'm paraphrasing, of course. It's like the confidence, you being confident is going to get you the money. And I said, God damn it. I, I mean, I had to drop my damn marker, okay, when I heard him say that. It felt so good to my goddamn spirit. Because you walking around, you thinking you going based upon what you can see. Honey, in the spiritual realm, it's not about what you can see. Okay, it's about this eye. Okay, the ones that they say get their eye. Honey, it's, it's about your pineal gland. Okay, it's about your at the end first eye. It's not about what you can see with these eyes. When you step into the spiritual realm, okay, and I got this from my mentor, Bob Proctor. It is no longer about what the school system had told you or what your parents done told you. Okay, it's not about what you can see, taste, smell, touch, feel, or whatever it is. It's about intuition, perception, imagination, reason. Okay. Will. I believe Will is in there. Okay. But it's about those things. It's about higher, your higher faculties. And you operating from there. You're not going based upon what you can see. You, you because these eyes, they they see very limited. Okay? Is they see very limited. <laughs> very limited. Okay. And, and, a, and a great thing, I was listening to Yusuf L earlier on high frequency radio on YouTube. And one of the things he, he was saying, he said, um, is the same exact example like with a dog. Okay. A dog, you know, when a dog, you could blow a whistle. Okay. Like, you know, those dog whistles or whatever. You may not hear it, but the dog could hear it. Okay, and it's the same as that concept. Same as that concept. Okay, so I'm going to need you to believe in your goddamn self. I'm going to need you to start reading the books. I don't give a damn if you read just a two lines of that goddamn book. Okay, all right? Two, you can read two, two lines. Put the book in the bathroom. Okay, put the book in the bathroom. So every time you go use the bathroom, you can read it. I'll be on the train, honey, reading books. Okay, you have to do something different. You have to do something different. Your way ain't working. Okay, so you got to do something different. All right, it's so funny, you know. I used to 
You know, I you know, I just walking down memory lane. Oh, this this is the part I wanted to read to you guys. Honey, I got caught off. I got you know distracted. Okay, one second. Um Okay. This 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 part did it for me. Okay. Now, I record this this is um Wallace Wallace talking, okay? And this is um the this is the chapter um in a book Prosperity, the Prosperity Bible, okay? Um and this is pretty much Wallace Wallace talking about this mindset, okay? Changing your mindset. Okay. Um, the, the science, the science of getting rich. Okay. He says, I recall now the case of one student, Wallace Wattlers had one student, okay, who was told that he must get in mind a clear picture of the things he desired. Okay. I have a vision board. Okay. You gotta, you, honey, you gotta, you got to start seeing what it is that you want. Don't worry about the money. The money is going to come. The money is where it always has been. Okay? Don't worry about that. Don't get don't get sidetracked. Okay? All right. Um must get in mind a clear picture of the things he desired so that the creative thought of them might be impressed on Wait, hold on cuz honey, I'll be skipping skipping words. On the formless substance. He was a very poor man. Okay. Because you know some of you guys you be saying. Well it happened to them. You know it can't happen to me. This person you know they had. They they had a um, handout. Or this, this person parents. All the successful people. Okay. That I done came across. Honey they grew up in, in poverty. They did not have no money. They, they family didn't have money. Okay. They just got around the right goddamn people. They started changing their mindset. Okay. They started reading books. Majority of them. Okay. They started listening to audios to change their subconscious mind. Cause I keep telling you guys, it's about the goddamn subconscious mind. The subconscious, it does not know fantasy from reality. Okay. It just go based upon what you put into it. The conscious mind, it can accept or reject. But the subconscious mind, it will not accept or reject. So if you listen to a bunch of fucking music that is talking about hoes and, and, and bitches and, um, you know, you shooting up people and all this other stuff, honey, your vibration is going down. Okay. It's, it's just, it's just what it is. Okay. They call it, I think it's drill, drill music or something. Your vibration is going down. If you watching the goddamn news or that I had one person tell me, they said, you know what? They said they don't know why, but at times they be scared to go outside. I said, what you watching? What, what you watching? Oh, I'm watching 48 hours. I'm watching the news. I said, no wonder you fucking afraid to go outside. You put all this shit into your subconscious mind, okay? You seeing this shit every day. That's why you afraid to go the fuck outside. Look, look. It does not know, okay? It does not know fantasy from fucking reality. Okay? And that's how you are being programmed. If you listening to this shit all day, watching this shit all day, okay? You, you, you have to be in a mindset that I deserve so much abundance. Abundance is my birthright. If you won't allow somebody to come to your house, in the words of Zig Ziglar, one of the things he said was, he said, if you won't allow somebody to come to your house and trash your place, put trash all over your house. Well, why you allow certain trash to go on in your goddamn subconscious mind? And you want to you, you wanna know why you don't manifest the, the, the desires that you have? The reason you don't manifest them because... How could you? You got all these limited beliefs. You're not finna fucking manifest. You're gonna manifest the shit that's not, that you say that you don't like. Whether it's poverty, whether it's you being fucking broke, whether it is, is you getting into arguments, altercations, and all this other stuff. That's why you manifesting it. Because what you giving your energy to? And the elite notice. <laughs> The elite know this. 
But you, but you keep on doing the opposite. You keep on doing it. And then you're wondering why, why your life ain't working. It's working. Your life is working. It may not be working the way that you want it to work. But of course it's working. Of course. Okay. Getting back to the, getting back to the book. Okay. All right. So. I record, I'm going to just read it from the top. Okay, I record now the case of one student who was told that he must get in mind a clear picture of the things he desired. So that the creative door of them might be impressed, impressed on formless substance. He was a very poor man, okay, living in a rented house and having only what he earned from day to day. And he could not grasp the fact that all wealth was his, okay? So after thinking the matter over, he decided that he might reasonably ask for a new rug. Something small. Something he just wanted a rug. Just wanted a rug for his feet. Okay? Just just wanted a rug. Okay. For the floor of his best room. And a coal stove to heat the house during the cold weather. Following the instructions given in his book, he obtained these things in a few months. And then it dawned upon him that he had not asked for enough. How many times, you know, we ask for things so small because we feel as though like we would be able to get there. We would be able to get there. Okay. It's like, it's, it's like. As if it's not going to take the same exact power to get the, the, the small thing as the big thing. Okay, it's, it's, it's the same exact power, same exact mindset. Okay. Um, he went through the, through the house in which he lived and planned all the improvements he would like to make in it. He mentally added a bay window here and a room there until it was complete in his mind as his ideal home, and then he planned his furnishings. Holding the whole picture in his mind, he began living in a certain way and moving towards what he wanted. And he owns the house now. Honey, big baller, shot caller. He owns the house now, okay? It's no more, he, he's not renting no more. Renting? Honey, he looking at rent. I don't rent, I own this. Okay, what you mean renting? I own it now, okay? He had to get his mind right. Okay. All right. Holding the whole picture in his mind, he began living in a certain way and moving towards what he wanted. Okay. He owns the house now and is rebuilding it after the form of his mental image. And now with still larger faith. Okay. Your faith got to be on point. He is going on to get greater things. It has been unto him according to his faith. Okay. And it is. So with you, okay, and with all of us, it's about your faith, okay? You know, I hear people talking about they believe, they believe, they they believe and, you know, <laughs> and I'm not here to, you know, say, you know, but what I am, what I, what I do have to ask this question, I'm quite sure we have all heard this, okay? Did you not? Faith without works is dead. You believe so much, right? But you won't do nothing different. That You know, that sort of baffles me. You believe so much, but you keep doing the same thing. You, you believe so much, but how do you believe so much if you won't even take the leap out on faith? Because, because, it does say in that Bible, okay, faith without works is dead. So you got to ask yourself, do you really believe? Or are you just throwing scriptures? Because I know some people, they just they just like throwing scriptures, okay? Not even understanding what the goddamn scriptures is saying. But they like throwing scriptures. And, you know, some people, they like throwing scriptures um, that is beneficial to, to, to them. But, you know, oftentimes they'll try to put you on the guilt trip. 
So they had throw the, the, the scriptures around and, you know, things of that nature to make you feel some type of way. But honey, they ain't even practicing what, 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 what the good old book says. Okay. They, you know, and it is, is really, really about your mindset. That's, that's all I want to say. It's about your mindset. Okay. And I didn't gave you guys a few tools. Okay. In the direction that you can start moving in for your life to start getting better. And all, those are only the things that I did. That's, that's the only thing. The things that I done told you guys is all what I did. Okay. It's all what I did and all that I do. Okay. It, it don't, it don't, it, it's not hard. Okay. Now change, it, it may be challenging. Okay. Cause you got some programming going on within you. But it's not hard to do. It's doable. It, it is doable. And you can do it. Okay. Now the question becomes, but will you do it? That's the question. Will you do it? And with that being said, I love you guys and I'll catch you guys on the next one.